are in January, which means we're talking about February. And our uh, core value for the month is resourcefulness. Um, this is something, all of your activities should have some of these in them, preferably more than one. If it doesn't have any of these, there's a good chance that it's something that you probably don't want to be doing with your kids. Um, but you'd be really hard pressed to find something that <coughs> at least one of these doesn't fit into. Um, it's important too, if you take a moment to identify which of these 12 is and what you're doing, it will go a long way towards your program and taking them further. If I realize before I do something, oh, by the way, we're going to go through, we're going to probably hit resourcefulness and probably some of perseverance and some courage there. I can make a point to lead, to bring in some leading questions during the activity to make it that much more. If I wait till afterwards to try to identify, hey, does that work out? Yeah, I did do resourcefulness. Yeah, hey. it, you lose a big opportunity to bring the boys a little farther along. <coughs> By identifying these things early on, it goes, it goes a long way towards you providing a program that is a game with a purpose. Or maybe not. Exactly. Now, obviously, scouting is a very interwoven program. Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, Venturing, Varsity, all these have a common theme. Okay? So, Cub Scouting's purpose is to prepare for Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts is leadership, character growth, maturity. Okay? So, the Cub Scouts 12 core values, they directly relate to the Boy Scout law. Remind the boys of that. Show them which one it is. Get them excited about the fact that they're working towards being a Boy Scout. Even the Tigers will get it eventually. Uh, oh, we're talking about resourcefulness. They may not understand what the word thrifty means, but if you explain, like, you know, if you have a limited amount of money and you want to go out and buy, buy candy and this and this, well then later on when you want something else, do you have any money left? No. You have to choose the right things at the right time to spend your money on or spend your resources on. Remind them of where it fits in the Boy Scout law. <coughs> Show the connection. Okay. Um, resourcefulness, the official definition. Using human resources and other resources to their fullest. So, when you're talking with Cub Scouts, you're going to give them the understanding that this means going out and finding solutions that may not just be given to them, that they'll figure it out on their own. They'll use the resources they have at hand and carry on. Boys resonate with Legos. Maybe what you do is you provide them a set, uh, you just put in front of them a group of 30 or 40 Legos that you brought. What can I make out of this? They're going to name off everything they can think of. Have something already built. Well, I built this way with the resources I had at hand. I chose each block can only be used once. I had to make a choice of where to do it and then a description, you know, sort of to make my imagination come to life. These are the kind of things that boys resonate with with resources. They understand that there is a limited supply of things. They may not understand that when it comes to mom, dad, I want this, I want this, I want this. It was on TV, I want this. But they do understand that, you know, when, when they're out of something, they're out of something. And then you use the best resources. They also understand sometimes when you say, hey, let's make something, and you go to the recycle bin and you pull something out to make a neat activity or craft or whatever. Use these opportunities. Let the boys try to reach a goal. If it's not the way you would, you would do it, as long as it's safe, and I'll throw in there timely too, because sometimes you, know, you have a limited amount of time in the meeting. And if their solution is going to take five hours to do, and you've got 45 minutes, you got to you got to sort of help guide them along to we can make it a little more timely. But let them do it. Let them figure out the result. See where they go with it. Let them understand what their choices are leading them towards. What their use of resources are going to do. I I love this uh, down there. It talks about the bumblebee. We all have heard this before that you know theoretically a bumblebee shouldn't be able to fly. Aerodynamically it is. It should not be able to fly, but it does. So let the boys come up with their solution. See where it flies. One of the most valuable things about scouting is that we are allowing boys to experience things. Cub Scout is about doing. Boy Scouts is about taking that doing and actually being able to teach others about it. 
Cub Scouts is about doing. Let them try even to the point that maybe they fail. Scouting is a safe place to fail. And if that happens, hey, what happened? How do you think we could fix it? We'll try to fix it. And find another way. Try a different time. Try to, it's a safe position for them to do this. Life's lessons are best learned through failure. Not from you know, success. I don't know about your lives, but I lose about ten times more than I win. And it's the losses and learning from those losses that make me who I am, not from the successes. It's the same thing for them. And we need to remember that we're modeling it at all times. Re using resources to their best ability models that for the boys. This is what you should be doing. This is the supplies we have at hand. Make it where, you know, it doesn't, everything doesn't have to be a store-bought kit. Come up with an idea of use something else. Use the, the things of the room that you have in, your, in around you. When you're out on a camping trip, use the resources at hand. Let them see that it's important to be able to think outside of that box. <coughs> so, we, uh, we've talked many months now about character connections. And when you're talking about resourcefulness, it's no different. There's all you can always find a care connect, character connection for each of the core values. In this case, um, talking with boys about ways they can they might be resourceful in working on achievements, um, <coughs> listing the materials that they might need, finding out if there's something that if they don't have exactly what the thing says, it's okay to substitute. Talk about way, things that they could substitute for that, and get them to see that. Just because something is designed for one purpose, there's no reason that you, can use it, you can't use it for something else. Um, afterwards, discuss with them about how they could have made it better. And if there are things that they could bring in to either make it easier or make it quicker or look better or whatever it is, any idea that they have of something they can add to it to make it work better. Use these leading questions to also remind them that resources are also their friends their parents, their teachers. Remind them that their, those people's talents, skills, or knowledge is also a resource. Because a lot of times, I know I overlook that. That's the one thing that we need to make sure that they learn to be inclusive, to, to use the skills and strengths of those around them. They become bigger and their vision can be more, more realized. So, Edge. Edge is a training and a leadership methodology. It leads people along to where they need to be to be enabled to do the things themselves. It starts out with explaining, demonstrating, and guiding, and then eventually enabling. For this skill, for resourcefulness, it's very simple actually. Explaining resourcefulness <coughs> can be as easy as the Lego kit. It's explaining uh, that there's a limited supply of things. If I have 100 pennies and I start using pennies here and there, eventually I'm out of pennies. I need to understand that I have a limited resource. Even people are limited. They have only so much time in the day. And we have to use that wisely. Eventually, move toward demonstration. Give them a project. Start showing real, honest to goodness things of, if I'm going to cut out a series of shapes out of paper, but I only have one piece of paper, how many shapes can I get out of it? It depends on how I form them together. Do I nest them together? Something simple. They're gonna, it's gonna, the light bulb is going to go on that, okay, this is how I, I, I work with my resources. Games, crafts, most of the activities we do in Cub Scouts have a resource element to them. Be there to help them guide and show, okay, at this point, how could you have helped it along? And then finally, enable. Anytime that you can come up with a project, a cert, whether it be a service project, uh, whether it be a competition, whether it be something that the pack is doing, that they have the ability to say, okay, we want to do this. Here is our end goal. Here. Now, how do you think we get there? Let them brainstorm the ideas. Okay, that's great. What <coughs> do we need to make that happen? Okay, great. What if we don't have that? What do we do? Let them think through the process. The steps are actually more valuable than the actual, pro the actual doing of the activity itself. It's a great way to use that.